He's trying to get that bag, isn't he? Yeah, we're, we'll talk. All right, uh, so here we are, 5.5, 5, uh, day number one, linear regression. I'm going to use my calculator to uh, complete the uh, regression portion, part A here, to find the least squares regression line. So I'm going to pull up the old TI. I'm going to plug in some values. Um, let me go back to the home screen. Okay, I press stats, edits. I want list one to be that list of year numbers uh, where year one was 1970, year two, 1980, year three, 1990, and year four, 2000. Okay, my output values for, I think it was population, would have been 256,843, 274,199, 271,126, and the last one was 284664. Okay, so I've got my values inputted here. I want to find the least squares regression line. So I will press stat again, go to calculate, go down to option number four, linear regression. So list one will be my x values, list two will be my y values. I'm going to store my regression equation as y1. So I'm going to press vars, y vars, function, and y1. Okay, so that'll store the equation that I'm given in y1. And I'm going to press calculate. So a here, a here is my slope. So my slope is 796.8. And b is my y-intercept. Should be zero comma negative one three zero nine seven six two point five. Okay, so now what I can do is I can go back and uh, now I have the answer here for the least squares regression line. So y equals uh oh, got a problem. This thing. 796.8 minus oh, that ugly thing 1309762 okay so at this point then you can interpret the slope well the slope in the context of the problem would be year population per year, right? Change in y over change in x. So that would mean that population is increasing or going up 796.8, what is this? About 796.8 people per year. I guess that, yeah, people per year. Okay, part B, what we would do here is use our regression equation to predict the population in 2010. And in part C, we would then set Y equal to 325,000. And you can do easy algebra to solve for X here. Six. Solving then for x, you could find the year in which population is 325k. All right, that's uh, regression. Um, one other way that you could do this if you wanted to, it'll change your regression equation a little bit, but it won't change your output values in b and c, is if you wanted to, you could call this 0, you could call this 10, you can call this 20, you can call this 30. 
uh, just to keep the numbers a little bit more manageable. All right, that's 5.5, day number one on linear regression. Got a couple of examples you can do. Enjoy your quiz, and good night.